Welcome back to Dirty Curdy Customs. Today we're working on the 68 Ford Crown Vic swap. So while we're waiting on parts for the pooper, I mean Supra, we're gonna start trimming on this some more, pull the dash out. So if you haven't seen the other videos on this, uh, you can check those out right up here. Um, also, if you haven't seen any videos on the Supra, you can check those out here. So anyways, let's get to work on pulling the dash out of this. Uh, I think there's only one screw holding the center. I don't, I don't, I think these dashes are like welded in. I don't know. dash is out I've done some more trimming around this so there's the dash it didn't come out easy and we weren't able to save a lot so anyways this is trimmed I don't know I'm not gonna trim this yet I think we're gonna set it up on the Crown Vic and then see what else we got to trim so I'm gonna start cutting on the Crown Vic Crown Vicky. See if she still runs. Yes, still runs. Good old car. Next, we got to trim this down lower. We got to trim a bunch of this off down here to get that cab to sit over this the way we want it. So, I'm going to pull this over by the cab. We're going to cut this off, cut down here. Uh, probably take the fenders and the hood off for now and then I got to get some help up here to try and lift that up so here we go all right so I got the whole front clip off hood fenders front bumper grill all that headlights so now we're gonna start doing some cutting on this and I think we need to cut along this seam get all this jump off there and then come back here and I think we need to cut along this seam here get all this cut off we still need to do some trimming back here but I'm not going to do that yet I just want to get it to where we can fit the cab on the front of this so yeah I'm going to do some cutting 
try to fit the cab. Accidentally hit the dash on this and I'm absolutely positively so disappointed in myself. I, I cannot believe that a professional like myself would do such a thing. Wow. If this was a customer car, they would be ashamed. So as you can see, I've cut down along this seam. Um, we did get into the heater box a little bit, but that's okay because I broke this accidentally with a pry bar. So nothing a little duct tape and silicone or JB Weld can't fix. I also got into this a little bit, but not enough to hurt it. So we got all along here. I got a, this cross, this bracing. Must be for a police interceptor. It's bolted on. That'll come off. And then I'll take a hammer and just hammer all these down. I'm going to cut this a little more flat. So, yeah. and I'll, This is all going to get cut off anyways, most likely. So, take this down here and trim it up a little more or beat it off. So, that's what you got to do to get the cab to fit over it. This might need trimmed a little more now. With a grinder we still got to get all the glass out of it so i will repeat that process on this side hoping this side's a little easier but i'm not sure so i'm gonna get to work on this side all right got the driver's side done it was a little easier because there was no heater box over here and i had already done it on that side so i kind of knew where to cut still got another brace over here I'm assuming this extra brace is because it's a P71 police interceptor and uh, that bottom down there, I'll probably just pound that in with a hammer. Still haven't cut back here, but I'm not worried about that yet. So I'm going to pull this back seat out and get Kate in and hopefully him and I can lift it up high enough. If not, um, my boy peel off and and his friend John are coming up tomorrow to help me work on another project so they can help me lift this up on. So still got to get all this glass out of here too, but I want to get this thing set on there and see what it looks like. So we'll try to get it up on there and uh, show you guys what it looks like when it's on. Well, Caden and I got it close, but we got stuck on this plastic vent cover. Because I forgot to take it off. Actually, I tried to take it off, but the screws are all rusty, so I decided to leave it. So I guess I'm gonna have to cut those out. But we're almost there. Him and I were able to get it up. We're getting close. Also, I still haven't trimmed any of the back of this cab yet. I kind of wanted to get it set on there and then measure a little. So once we get it set on there, I'll trim up what I need to on that. Yeah, we're almost there. We're almost on. Ready? One, two, three, go. Oh, oh no, we're stuck in the seats. We gotta go down in the back. Let down on the back. And now go forward. Off forward. Almost there. Okay, I 
I gotta cut that. She's almost there though. Woo! It's on there. We gotta trim the back of this cab up now. So yeah, now I can get some cuts here and get it moved up the rest of the way. But yeah, that's kind of how it's looking so far. These seats are a little in the way and I can't move this seat up unless I hook the wires back up because the forward and back in this is the controls were in the door, power seats on this side. So that's how she's looking. Okay, so I've trimmed the back of the cab. Now the seat is hitting. And of course, I cut the wires for the seat controls. Oh wait, that's not it. Uh, it's this one here. So I gotta figure out which wires I need to hook up to get the seat to move forward. Also, I never took those braces out. So we're sitting up on those braces. So I gotta pull those out. Getting close, getting closer. <clears throat> well, I ran out of daylight, but <clears throat> I think I got the cab, <clears throat> excuse me. I think I got it close to where I want it. I had to unbolt the seat, which was a pain, not being able to move it forward, but tomorrow I'll line it up a little better and then we'll throw some doors on it, put the fenders and hood on see what it looks like but it's pretty dang close looking real good I'll have to get some more video tomorrow in the daylight but it's like we got to come down a little I don't know we're close looks good all right so here's a little shot of it in the daylight I brought this seam up to here um, I think I want to go lower but I'm gonna have to cut this uh, bracing back here that holds the original gas tank off, which I plan to do anyways. And I got that cut, kinda ugly right now, but uh, I'll trim that up and make it look prettier once I get it to the height that I want, or I'm probably gonna have to cut it more to get it to the height where I want, but there it is, she's on. I might throw a door on and see what it looks like with the door, maybe a fender, I don't know. All right, and got the doors on. This one went on pretty easy. This other one had a couple broken bolts on the hinges. And uh, there's a bunch of glass in the handle. So it doesn't want to shut all the way, but it's on there. Not quite shut all the way, whoa. So yeah. Starting to look like a truck. Next, front clip. All right, so I got the inner fender wells taken off, every all the wires and stuff unbolted. Uh, the front cross member that goes into the bumper taken off. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need to cut up here yet. So, and we're gonna use the inner fender wells from the truck. So I'm gonna cut those down right now. Probably gonna cut all of this bottom off on both sides. And then it, they should fit up in there. So we'll see how it goes. I'll get it cut. It's starting to rain on me, so I gotta hurry up and get this done. All right, so I got the front clip on. I cut these frame horns down here, but not enough. And this thing's sitting too high. Um, I just got the grill resting up on it. That's kind of what's holding it up, but cut the inner fender wells down here i had to trim some back there same on the other side to clear the heater box this side obviously the battery box needs to be rebuilt i'm going to try to maybe just bolt that crown vic one in here but yeah it's all in there sitting too high in the front still um i think the whole thing's sitting too high i want to i think i want to lower it some more but I don't know, we're still tinkering, just test fitting. Obviously, there's a lot of welding and stuff that needs to be done. There's a lot of leveling and measuring that needs to be done. Front wheel, I don't know. It's pretty close to being centered, but yeah, I think we're gonna wanna go lower maybe. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Should we make it lower? 
fit pretty good with the old inner fender wells though i had to take the bottom valence off so i want to try to get that back on there um i seen uh somebody else they took this lower radiator mount and moved it a bolt back so that sucks in the uh, radiator some more and then we could probably cut these frame horns some more and then cap them off and start building mounts. I did cut a little too much up in here too, but it'll be fine. It'll be nice. So, yeah. Tell me what you guys think. Should we go lower? Also, this door, man, these hinges are completely shot on this thing. I can't even really get it to close. So, it's a good thing we got that other truck. The other, the doors on this truck over here shut nice. Hopefully they're the same. Rob the hinges, but yep, there it is. Looking good. Well, I think that's going to do it for this uh, episode. Um, we got the cab and everything on here. There's still a little adjusting to do and obviously a bunch of welding. I am in between welders right now. We had a little accident with my welder and a go-kart, so... Um, if you guys know a good affordable welder out on the market, you know that you stand by comment down below Let me know uh, If you know the welder and uh, so anyways We're gonna halt on this for a minute. I got some parts coming in for the Supra. So we're gonna get back on that project um, You guys can check that project out up right up here and uh, That's gonna do it. We'll see you later